Okay, today's demonstration is going to be on drawing eyes. So on Google, I went ahead and just found a pair of eyes. So you do need to do both eyes. So for your assignments, you will do a, be doing eight sets of eyes, meaning a total of 16 eyes and eyebrows. So this is the picture that I am using to go off of. So I'm going to move this over to the side for me to reference. And I am just using my normal pencil to get everything drawn. You do have a Prismacolor ebony pencil. These are saved specifically for those dark, dark spots for um, your facial features. So I am going to start with the shape. It's thinner than an almond shape, but getting that outline first. It's not exactly perfect. So if you look at how wide this is, your nose is going to be about the same size, so one eye width, an eye width in between, and then another eye. So you could even measure if you really wanted to, or um, so, but I don't think it's necessary. So we're going to start to kind of curve in some of these things, get some of these details in here. So the first is just kind of a sketch. When you look at the eye, it's going to there's not generally a white spot that shows underneath the eye. You can see that it goes all the way down to the bottom. Okay. Then we're going to look at how the lines are here. So it kind of comes up and then down. With that down, there's also, you can see the inside part of the lid a little bit. So I'm just gonna work on the one eye for now. So there's a little bit of shading that goes around the outside And then there's the dot on the inside that is very dark. So when I talked about those dark spots, this is one of them. So this makes it much more dark. I left a little bit of white here. So it kind of shows like, um, like a light spot. Okay. And then and really with hers, her pupil is a little bit higher, closer to the top, but you don't want your pupil to be too big. And I'm just going to use my finger. I don't have a tissue with me right now. So I'm going to kind of shade that in a bit. And I'm going to need to go back with my eraser. And I'm going to whiten the inside where the white spots are. And kind of where that light spot is, so it looks more like a light spot. And then I'm going to go back, and I'm going to put in the crease to the eye. And if I look, there's some, so where there's more depth or a crease, so it's not all the way across. There's just some pockets that are a little bit darker. Now, your skin it's going to be kind of like a, a gray color. It's not a straight white like your eyeball. So we're going to create some of this white, or not white, um, gray around here. It's kind of part of the nose there. And we'll do more cleanup last for... Um, with your eraser. Okay, next, I am going to start putting in kind of those eyebrows. So you think about how long, you know, even your own eyebrow hair is. 
and you know which way it goes. It's not one line that goes all the way across. These are just broken up into little different hairs. And there might be some spots that are, you know, more or less. And you can use this pencil again if you wanted to add, you know, a little bit more depth of pockets of where there's maybe more hair or what have you. So next, eyelashes. Eyelashes can be kind of tricky. So this is a little thick. I probably could have um, sharpened the tip a little bit more. Sorry, if my light went out. Let me get that back on. All right, here we go, back in business. So next, your eyelashes don't always go in the same direction. So this is almost like an extended, almost check mark to letter C. So, or like a Nike sign. You have more weight in the beginning and then you kind of lift up as you go. So I'm going to add more eyelashes to her. And there's a bit of a bend. So it kind of, because the eyelashes are rounded, it does come into the eye a bit. And I'm going to add a little bit of thickness, kind of blending in. I don't want just a straight line. I'm kind of blending it with those eyelashes. curling them a little bit more. And then she also has them on the bottom, not as long, not as thick. So then to save on some time, I am just going to do this one eye. I'm going to shade this in just a smidge. It's usually a little bit of a line there. Okay. So just looking at the one eye. And you can always go back and add more to it. Like if this line has now, you know, you don't have to blend everything. You know, if there's some detailed spots that you want to have, you can leave that. Okay. Um, and then there will be more shading that you continue to have. So you would then start on the next eye trying to make it kind of the same. So remember, this is practice, and you're going to continue to do um, your eyes and your facial features before we get to your final. Okay? All right. Well, feel free to look at other resources besides my own, but um, that should hopefully give you some guidance for eyes.